I loved him until my last breath. Until eyelids refused to cast iris upon this world anymore, I loved him despite you. Despite glares, despite disgust, despite you and your friends tailing me to my car to make sure I heard you call me faggot, how original, I still loved him. But I guess that doesn't matter to a bull in the ketchup aisle. Maybe if we were two bad bitches, it would have been your dick to get hard instead of your fist, my bad. But no girl can pull off this fresh, so I have to rock it the way I was made. But unfortunately, that's not good enough for you. You were taught to fear first and fuck the questions that my lifestyle is a transgression and aggression is the only way to combat it. I have always been your enemy, while you have only recently become relevant, and I don't understand why it has to be this way. <laughs> Treat me like a burning car you pass on the highway. That's none of my business, but the flames sure are pretty. Let the walking rainbow cascade across the landscape and maybe it'll drop some Skittles along the way. If you can't treat me like a person, then pretend I have cooties and stay away. Stay out of my no-fly zone. These borders were erected for a reason. You are trespassing on sacred grounds. I find it interesting when fists try to play wrecking ball to all that I stand. When jaw turns broken glass and flesh acts as memory foam on impact, I didn't know I'd impact your life in such a way, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to target you with my happiness. A million empty apologies to your bruises, your ego, or whatever I've offended unintentionally. I didn't mean to make you feel this way, but I think we can fix that. Send me to your God so we can figure out where he went wrong because you're obviously defective. Too much attack dog in your testicles. Guess that's why you're mad because I took your boner, huh? Oh, you can't be all man because all men were created equal. What you did was some lion shit. Come for another male's pride because you ain't got none. I will pray for you in front of your God with hopes that'll push you to the front of the line so you can be delivered from your demons. I just want to save you from cloudy vision since you ain't got Stevie talent. Being blind will only hurt the people you bump into. And if your God asked me if I would do anything different, I'd tell him to send me back to the moment you saw us so I can kiss him more passionately. Wow. Hold him tighter than you were than when you realized that you and your girl weren't this fly, this functional, this fucking flawless, and love him for his however, forever would allow because I'd rather die in his arms than appease your masculinity. <laughs> Coming to the stage right now is Furious George.